What's going on guys? It's Jukebox Comics. Let's talk Venom. So, as we all know, there's a Venom movie coming out. It's supposed to be released on October 5th, uh, 2018. Tom Hardy is playing Eddie Brock. And if you guys have seen the trailers for it, it looks really good. It hasn't shown much, but it's shown enough. It's for me to think that this movie is going to be great. It can't be worse than Spider-Man 3. I'm just going to throw that out there. Talking Venom. What books I'm speculating for this movie? There's the obvious Venom Lethal Protector number one. That's what the entire movie is about. That's what the storyline is. So Lethal Protector number one. Pick it up. If you can still pick it up at the dollar bins. I highly doubt that they'll be there anymore. Because any comic book shop that I've been going to lately... They're on the wall and they're up to like 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars. So if you don't have one, I recommend getting one. I feel like it's going to spike up even more as the movie gets closer and closer. But not only just number one, I think you should be picking up. I think you should be picking up the entire run. So the entire run is six issues. So there's number two. Number three, and here's number six. Now I left th uh, four and five because I want to talk about them specifically. These don't really have, two, three, and six don't really have um, any significance whatsoever. They're just in the series. However, Venom Lethal Protector number four came out in May of 1993. Is the first appearance of the symbiote Scream who is Donna Diego. Now, we have been told that there's going to be more than one symbiote in the movie. So this is why I'm speculating on it. Um, and Venom Lethal Protector number five has an actual four first appearances and one main one that we know is actually in the movie. So we got <coughs> Agony, Lasher, Phage, and Riot. Riot, we, it has been confirmed that it is in the movie. So if you can get this Lethal Protector number five, I recommend it. There's four main symbiote first appearances. And at this time, the price of this averages around $15 on eBay that I've, that I've seen. Um, but you could probably find it at your LCS for less. Um, so I recommend picking that up move these out of the way here i'm gonna leave four and five down there so you can get a good look at them so another book that i'm speculating on that i haven't heard a lot of people talking about at all at all um it's spider-man saga number four this is actually the origin story of Venom. It um, it came out uh, February of 1991, I believe, and it it's the origin of Venom. I, this book hasn't spiked at all, and I haven't heard anybody talking about it. Period. So this is why I'm I'm putting out here. Hey, I might be completely wrong, and this move this this book's just gonna stay at the three dollar mark that it's at. But on eBay, I've been seeing it going for $15 to $20, and sometimes even more, depending on the condition. But I recommend picking this book up just because it is the origin of Venom. Now, three other books. This hasn't been confirmed that they're in the movie, but it's been rumored. Pick up Amazing Spider-Man 361. 362 and 363 these books have been hot lately because of carnage thinking that carnage is going to be in this movie 361 is the very first appearance and it has skyrocketed from the original price point of when you could find them for 25 dollars i bought this at a good price of 60 bucks uh, I can't find a single thing wrong with it, and it's a newsstand edition, so I'm pretty happy about how I bought it. 
but you can get 362 and 363 for 25 dollars all day um so i recommend picking those up mainly 361 but uh yeah so those are the main four four five books that i uh, recommend picking up and the last book isn't doesn't really have anything to do with the movie more about the one of the characters that's in the movie. Now her name is Anne Wang, um, and her first appearance was actually in Amazing Spider-Man 375, which came out in March of 1993. If you guys have that book, I would recommend putting it away in your speculation box just because she's in the movie. Now, if you don't have that book, I'm sure you could find it in your back issue bin. It's not worth much, but uh, the book that is probably going to skyrocket if anything happens which i think would be kind of cool but it won't happen in this movie is the very first appearance of she venom who is Anne wang Anne wang becomes she venom in venom center takes all number three now that book came out in october of 95 so you could probably... I, I feel like this book runs steady at $100. Uh, you could probably find it for cheaper at your LCS online if you get if you get lucky. But I recommend picking that up. I actually got this in a dollar bin. I got this for a dollar. So I was pretty happy about it. Um, yeah, so those... There's six books. Those six books. So Spider-Man Saga number four. Venom Lethal Protector four and five. ASM 361 and uh, Venom Sinner Takes All number 3 as well as Lethal Protector number 1. I recommend picking these books up. I can't stress it enough. This movie is going to be huge and it's going to make comic books that have Venom in them skyrocket. That's just my opinion. If you guys have any other books that you uh, are speculating, I'd love to know what they are. Put them in the comments down below, and I'll reply and everything as much as I can. I really appreciate you guys watching. I haven't. I, this is my first video in almost two months, so I appreciate it. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, like the video, and and comment. I love getting comments from you guys. It's it's one of my favorite things. So. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good day and enjoy this Venom kick.